Hey everyone, my name is Peyton, and in this tutorial I want to go over using Unreal Engine 5.5's new displacement features, especially with Nanite meshes, and how you can basically get your Nanite meshes to use the displacement uh, from the material itself. Uh, so here you can see um, this is a material that I just really quickly set up, um, basically using this feature, and we're able to use the height map information, uh, you know, kind of traditionally like we would do with tessellation and all. But now this can be actually done uh, just default with uh, both Nanite as well as the just the material settings and all, which is super nice. So what I want to do is basically start off walking through this process. Uh, the first thing that you will need to do is whatever mesh that you are wanting to place it on. So I'm going to grab something uh, new. So let's say this cube over here. Um, and one thing that you'll definitely need to do uh, is go into the model itself. So I'm going to open up the cube uh, and you'll need to turn on enable Nanite support. Uh, so by default, it's not on, and then you'll need to hit apply changes. So of course, like I said, if that's not on, um, I'll go back over here and turn off the Nanite support for this and apply changes, and you'll see that it flattens it out. So we definitely need that Nanite support for this feature to work, but there we go. And so what we're going to do now is actually uh, create out our material. So I'm going to go down here to my content browser and I'm just going to right click and create a new material. I'm going to name it, let's say brick ground. There we go. And going to open that up real quick. And yeah, so now um, you might notice there are a couple of different like visuals uh, to the uh, materials inside of Unreal Engine 5.5. Um, some things have been updated or so, and the main thing that we'll be focusing on is just using the new displacement feature that is in here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my individual materials that I have. So have my AO, my base color, my height, um, normal roughness. So, you know, can just kind of bring these in so I'm going to place that here Then we have our AO, um, drag that in and then yeah, I'm going to leave my height for last, of course. So roughness goes in there and then normal goes in there and, um, kind of did this the sloppy way, but there we go. So just rearrange them real quick. And so cool. Now we have our, um, brick ground or so I'm going to go ahead and um, before actually yeah let me switch this to a different shape it's down here um, so yeah it's working cool uh, but we want to get it in uh, to the actual like displacement now so what we're going to do is click on the material itself so we're going to go under the uh, detail panel for the the material and underneath here uh, you can either scroll down or you can also type it in but we're going to be looking for uh, tessellation. So uh, as you'll see here underneath Nanite, it's going to show enable tessellation. We'll want to turn that on, um, which yeah, just checkbox. And now this displacement is available. Uh, we can see it over here being an option and we can plug in just by default, plugging in our uh, height map. So there we go. And yeah, just wanna make sure Height map over here is looking all right. Yeah, that'll work good enough. So cool. So to, by default, that's everything that we need. So I can just hit apply um, and should be able to drag this on and get some actual displacement happening. So there we go. Not too bad, uh, but of course, like my tiling amount and everything is a little bit messed up. Uh, also with this, I can just throw it on my landscape back here. So I just have a standard landscape um, for my background. I could throw it on going down here to the landscape material. One thing that you will need to do with your landscape, uh, landscape itself, and you'll see that, yeah, it broke, but yours might just show flat at first um, without anything. And so you do need to come down here and uh, make sure that you actually have uh, Nanite turned on for this as well. 
Um, so enable Nanite, I already had it turned on. Um, and yeah, just need to turn that on. And then you'll need to build data. So there you see, and you're able to get the displacement. So um, of course, right now it's really popping up in our scene. Um, and that's where we would need to go in and actually adjust some of the settings. So I can go back over here and now we could scroll down and you'll see under our nanite displacement, there is magnitude and center. So here, this is where um, we can adjust those values for the intensity of the displacement itself. Um, maybe I'll drop down to 0.5 to start off with, see how that looks. And it is going to be relative to whatever model that we kind of have it on. So um, as you see here, like it's pretty drastic on the landscape. It wasn't that bad on the actual like uh, ball that we were placing it on earlier. But now we can see that, yeah, it's, uh, it's working pretty decently. And we're at a 0.1. So I could do a 0.05. There we go. And we're getting some, yeah pretty solid displacement happening uh, on our landscape. So um, this material, of course, would need some work for tiling purposes and all, uh, but wanted to show it just because it has a decent amount of variation with the um, the actual like height map. So yeah, and then let's say that now we have that going. Um, one other thing is like I was mentioning here with our, uh, actual balls or so, uh, if we need to, we could adjust it. Um, and it honestly is just dependent on the individual models, uh, the displacement amount, but, uh, yeah, that's basically how you can set up displacement, um, with Unreal Engine 5.5, uh, using Nanite. And if I go in now to my Nanite visualization, I can go and actually see the uh, triangle amount and how much it's actually being separated out, uh, which is always yeah, pretty insane to see, but uh, has all the peaks, valleys, and all from the height map information. Um, so a lot of it's gonna come down to how high quality your height map is, what you're bringing in for that. Um, and then of course, kind of adjusting some of those settings as well. But this is just uh, sort of the, the basic steps of setting up displacement instead of Unreal Engine 5.5. Uh, yeah, but hope you found this helpful and uh, the results, you know, work pretty well pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome to start seeing some of this stuff uh, very easily come into the engine. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions or so, uh, feel free to drop them below in the comments. And with that, I will see you in the next one.